Hi guys, this is my monthly phase video, obviously my August phase video from Corfu where I've come on holiday. It is lovely and sunny here, as you can probably see behind me there's some beautiful mountains, um, so it's super pretty and I thought what better place than to do my video right here. Um, I do feel like I look completely tanned, um, I don't actually think I'm this tanned in real life so I think it must just be the shade, but we'll go with that, we'll, we'll, we'll just pretend that I've obviously got a beautiful olive skin tone and uh, I I've been obviously baking by the sun, in the sun even, but I haven't. Um, I spent most of the holiday, I think, probably just in the shade. I'm going to show you guys a few products that I've absolutely fallen in love with this month. Now, obviously I've been on holiday, so a few of them are kind of tailored to being on holiday. Um, there wasn't that much that I could bring with me. I had 20 kilos, but apparently even for me that just wasn't enough. Um, my, my suitcase actually got a heavy sticker on it because I think I bought too much stuff. This is super tiny, look how tiny it is. Um, so this is all part of me trying to pack small um, for my holiday but this is just by original source and it's the live uh, sorry lemon and tea tree shower gel and it smells amazing if I just open it it actually smells like like lemonade well not lemonade but just freshly squeezed lemons it's so good when you're in the shower and you put this on yourself you just feel like you've just kind of walked into a lemon it's just so nice um, it's just kind of yeah really kind of refreshing um, it sort of sets you up for the day I think it's not really like a relaxing one it's more of like an, a, a reviving sort of awakening one so you'd need to probably use this in the morning or whatever and it just leaves your skin feeling so nice and fresh and just yeah like you're ready for the day so this is a great size as well um, this I would say probably lasts me a couple of washes so um, I've bought a couple of these along with me on my holiday just to make sure that I have enough and I don't smell when you're on holiday Day, and obviously in August or whenever you're going away um, just if even if you live in a quite a hot climate or whatever it's really important to protect your skin um, and I usually get really confused with the kind of different products that are out there for skin routine uh, for skin protection um, and especially when it comes to my face as well so I found a couple of products that I'm really happy with um, they do cost probably a little bit more than if you were to go for like the Nivea or whatever the, the more cheaper brands but I have found that these last such a long time and they're just amazing for your skin. So the first thing that goes all over your body is this one and it's just sun cream by Pitts Buen. Um, and it's just, I've gone for a factor 30, so quite a high one because I don't want to burn. Um, but this smells again, just amazing. It just, I don't know, Pitts Buen, if you've ever smelled it, it's got this real different smell I don't know what it smells like it's really strange so this one doesn't feel greasy at all um, it's not sticky or horrible you know some of them you can spray on especially the spray on ones or even some creams or lotions you put them on yourself and you feel like you can't move especially then if you're gonna go on a beach you feel like if there's a bit of wind the sand's just gonna stick to you and you'll just be like a human sandcastle it would be ridiculous um, so I really like this one I think this is just feels very moisturizing in fact it actually says inside moisturizing sun lotion so it does feel very moisturizing very good for your skin not too heavy but really good coverage as well and of course the smell is everything to me and then also for my face now I've really tried to take care of my skin this holiday although I have had a few sneaky spots that have come up and also I'll show you here you can see there I've had a massive bite so something I don't know what he was Mr. Culprit has um, bitten me on the face and also when I was on my sun lounger quite happily the other day just you know chilling out listening to my music and I apparently my sister said that I screamed and I woke up and I'd obviously fallen asleep and something had bitten me on my tongue on my tongue I could not believe it so I was not happy and I'm going to show you as well another thing this is going off the sun cream for a minute but look at my foot wait at the bottom can you see there's like oh god I'm like trying to do the splits in the middle here there's like a red dot well we went for a nice little romantic walk me and my mum and my sister along the rocks you know it's beautiful looking at the scenery and then all of a sudden obviously Mr Wasp or as they call them out here swabs um, he decided to come along in between me my foot and my flip-flop and get stuck I didn't realize he was in there and I obviously stood on him which obviously as a wasp or anything you're not gonna be very happy about so he stung me big time and it's still there after like three days so it really hurts so I've been slapping stuff on to try and stop that but anyway um 
back to the skin. So my skin is looking a bit bad at the moment, so I must apologise, but you can see why. This is bite, but these two are naughty spots. And it's going to happen when you use sun cream, you usually do break out because it is so greasy for your skin, which is why it's so important to use quite a good one. So I found this one, which normally I'd break out quite a bit, and actually from using this, I've only got two. So I think that's pretty good going. So I found this one, and it's Declior, and it's just factor 50, so you want a super, super high factor on your face, um, just because it's the most sensitive part, and I've got like a mole here as well, so I get, I don't know if I've done that on the right side, yeah there, um, and I get really nervous about obviously that being in the sun and I just think oh you know don't want to break out as well so this one I found to be lovely it's um it claims to be sort of protective anti-wrinkle cream um, but hopefully I don't need that right now uh, but I just think that it's just it feels very moisturizing again on your face it doesn't feel too greasy because a lot of them can feel really greasy on your skin and like I say I would normally be the first to react to it and my skin's actually been really good with it then moving on to my hair now you guys know how I do like this ash blonde sort of look with my hair um, but it's very difficult to bring away with you um, like purple shampoo and products that are going to take up a lot of weight so I wanted to think small and I came up with these. Now these are Lee Stafford Hot Shots and they're especially for blondes. So I'll take them out and show you what they do. I've already used one of them. You only kind of need probably one, max two per holiday. Just use them sort of once a week I'd say because they are very very strong um, but they're like little pouches and so you kind of break them off and then untwist this end bit at the bottom and then you just um, kind of squeeze all of this product out and it's just purple shampoo what you do is leave it on your hair for two minutes and it will start to get kind of hot it almost feels like your head is heating so don't worry your hair's not on fire it is meant to happen I got slightly nervous the first time I used it I was like what is going on here um, looking around for the flames then realize I'm in a Hour anyway so it's going to put it out um, but it was good it was um it just felt like it was just I don't know just really nice actually it was almost like having a kind of heated head massage so it doesn't feel uncomfortable it does leave your hair um, looking really ash blonde it kind of just gets rid of any brassy tones and then obviously together with the sunshine especially if you're on holiday then you can't go wrong just to make sure that I haven't smelt while I'm on holiday and that I smelt super fresh and lovely um, I, I wanted a nice um oh I've got an ant on me Okay, apologies, I had an ant on my, uh, on my leg. He was probably trying, going for another bite, but I stopped him. Anyway, I wanted a really nice smelling um, body uh, spray just for the summer, just, just would be really lovely. And I usually use the Mist You Madly, that sort of thing by Soap and Glory, but I thought I wanted to try something different. So I went for this one, and it's by the body shop, and it is their um, Satsuma Body Mist. Um, so it's really, it just, oh, the only way I can describe it is that they've just crushed up a load of oranges or satsumas, don't know what the difference is, but anyway, um, and just put it into a little bottle because it is so strong. Now um, I'm going to just spray it in the air, Oh, and it's like, it's like oranges, it's just like, not like putting orange cordial on yourself because that probably wouldn't have the same effect, but it's just really nice and sweet, but it just smells amazing. So I love this stuff, been dousing myself in it, and then realised we got told that apparently um, mosquitoes are attracted to perfumed stuff. So this is probably why I've been getting bitten on the face, on the tongue, mum's been bitten loads, Becky's been bitten. So this is probably why, but it's worth it because you smell damn good. So I think mosquitoes are a little bit attracted to this. Um, but it last ages as well you only need the tiniest little bit at a time um, and it does just it's so fragrant that you just need the, the, the smallest amount and it just leaves you feeling really fresh and really um, ready for the day. You're on holiday and in the general summer months it can be quite hot it can be quite sweaty but also you could be going swimming and so I wanted a mascara that wasn't going to run all over my face and make me look like I've got panda eyes so I went with um, this one and it is the L'Oreal telescopic and it is the waterproof um, mascara now I absolutely love this one, I'll show you the brush against my hand, it's kind of almost um, curved, 
can see it kind of curves upwards um, and it's got really nice fine bristles on it so um, it just means that it's not very clumpy. Now I had a look at some other products that were on the market, say by Rimmel and some cheaper sort of products like that, some cheaper brands, and their brushes just looked like they were just going to clump. So I didn't want that while I was on holiday. I don't, well, at any stage, I don't like having clumpy eyelashes. So I've got it on at the moment, and if you can see, it's quite... I'd say it does separate very well. So I'm really, really happy with this. I do like the telescopic um, eyelash, um, the telescopic mascaras, because they do separate the eyelashes really well. And yeah, don't leave you feeling really, really clumpy. This actually does say that it's false lash. So I think it almost does try and create that false lash sort of um, look. And I think it does really well. And so far, this has not run for me. So it means that I haven't had even the black annoying bits that sometimes you get underneath your eyes just from it rubbing with, with you being really hot and starting to sweat it hasn't done anything like that um, and actually I've had some people comment on how nice my eyelashes look so um, I would say that this has been a massive success finally I find it so important for my nails to look lovely especially in the summer months I want to really experiment with my colours so I'm going to show you what I've got on at the moment da, 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 which is a really cute kind of pink colour now I've gone quite crazy and obviously I'm probably clashing with the green but never mind because underneath I've got a pink bikini on so actually when I take this off I look fine um, but I wanted something quite I know this is quite shocking and bright but I love it just for the summer and um, it's this one and it's Barry M it's a limited edition um, it's just their normal um, range it's not a um, jelly high shine I'm being covered in ants here uh, uh, they're probably just going to appear on my shoulders so if they do and I scream then don't worry um, but anyway this is number 322 can't actually see what colour it is but it just says number 322 um, and it's a limited edition one and it's just a really kind of hot pink um, I'll show you, not the barcode, I'll show you by the side um, it's just yeah really pretty colour, um, I love it for the summer, I love my pinks and my bright oranges and that sort of thing um, just because you know why not? And then I found a really cute um, kind of finishing coat. Now I do actually use a, a different top coat on top of this as well, but apparently you can just use this as a top coat. Uh, but it's by Rimmel and it's um, just, it's called Finishing Touch and it's just a glitter top coat. Now if you can see inside, uh, let's go there, you can see it's actually got glitter in it. Don't know if I'm showing this very well for you guys, but it's got a little bit of, it's, it's almost um, a gold glitter. So it's just a clear top coat with pieces of gold glitter in. So you could put it over the top of any colour like this one and it would just mean that they'll sparkle in the sunshine. Um, so I really love that one actually. Rimmel have done very well there. Um, and it's quite thick as well. It, it doesn't, you don't need very much on it. It feels really glossy, really shiny. Um, it's not too dull. So I really loved that one. And it's lasted me ages, even though I've been using it so much. That is my um, August favourites. I really wanted to show you guys some nice kind of holiday products as well as just products that you could take away and use at home as well. Um, I think mascaras and things and nail varnishes you can never go wrong with. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to show you guys what I've been absolutely loving this uh, this month. If you guys have got any August favourites that you want to tell me about, please, please, please leave them in the comments box below. I would love to try anything out. If it's worked for you guys, then be sure to let me know because I will give them a go myself. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are. I, of course, am in the sunshine, um, but I'm going to make the most of it. I'm going to go off and have some mojitos and some ice cream for the rest of the day and enjoy the sunshine by the pool. So I shall see you guys in a few days' time. Thank you for watching, and of course, like and subscribe to my channel as always, and I shall see you guys soon. Bye!